The Sustainability Category finalists are Contemporary Asian Tea Garden by Changing Landscapes. In planning the Contemporary Tea Garden project, the customer understood basic sustainability concepts but had no specifications in mind. Changing Landscapes suggested sustainability elements and the client enthusiastically approved them. Changing Landscapes offered a number of sustainability options. A great example is including a stream which flows beneath the tea house to provide cooling as well as ambiance and avoided the use of air conditioning or other cooling methods. The landscape was completely transformed while reusing as much material as possible. 95% of the rock materials used in the retaining walls came from existing materials on site. Existing trees and plants were preserved wherever possible. Changing landscapes removed and recycled 220 linear feet of cedar privacy fence. Copper and brass fencing was taken to a local recycler and earned over $500 for the client. 16 yards of unwanted trees and shrubs, along with the bluegrass, were brought to Western Disposal for composting. Steel edging and rebar, along with any other steel that was found on site, were recycled at EcoCycle, as well as cardboard and paper accumulated during construction of the project. All planting pots were returned to the nursery for reuse. The second finalist in the sustainability category is Outdoor Craftsman for the Lion's Den project. Lion's Den was a collaborative effort between Greg White, the designer, and Outdoor Craftsman, the design builder. The client wanted a sustainable landscape with outdoor living spaces that could be enjoyed at all times of day and throughout all seasons. This picture illustrates that the landscape was essentially a blank slate at the start, but they were able to reuse existing cobble, flagstone, rock, plants, and soil rather than dispose of it. Outdoor Craftsman made a concerted effort to source local materials, to follow Zurich principles, specify native plants, and install sophisticated irrigation systems targeting the differing water needs of various plants. With client approval, Outdoor Craftsman also used salvaged hard goods and quality plants that were left over from other projects. That meant that the project not only avoided its own waste, but also helped other projects become more sustainable by repurposing excess materials. <laughs>